16 WAPT Sports Morning Blitz. Brought to you by Patty Peck Honda. Ole Miss at home again. The decades old joke about Rebel baseball. 42 years of close, but no cigar. All exploding excitement Monday night. We now take a trip back to see how things have changed since the last time the Rebels were in Omaha. Robinson handles it. And they're going to Omaha for the first time in 42 years. Hotty toddy in Omaha. For the 35 men that make up this 2014 Ole Miss team, they represent 42 years of Rebels before them. You know, obviously we haven't been in this position in like 40 some odd years and uh, we're just excited to be here, you know, felt like we're one of the best teams in the nation right now. It'll be something special, man, to go out there and uh, win it out there. I mean, my first national championship, we've been here in a while, so I mean, if we go out there and get the job done, I mean, it'd be something special for uh, Rebel Nation. Back in 1972, Rebels legend Archie Manning, who starred at shortstop for the 1969 team that made Omaha, was set to begin his second season at the helm for the New Orleans Saints. The last day of that College World Series was June 16th. A day later, five White House workers arrested for their role in the Watergate scandal. Tupelo native Elvis Presley was still in the building. The country's biggest star just finished working on Always On My Mind, profiling a split from his wife Priscilla. But with the opening lyrics, maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I should have, the song could have just as easily been about Rebel fans' relationship with current coach Mike Bianco many of whom called for his job after falling short last season. One of the things we talk about a lot is you know, being tougher, you know, being mentally tougher, being able to handle the adversity. Very proud of the kids and, of course, a great coaching staff. But, uh, you know, a tremendous administration. It's been you know, believers for 14 years and, of course, a uh, tremendous fan base. 2014 is the 15th time Ole Miss has made the NCAA tournament since 1972, the first 14 ending in the all-too-familiar heartbreak. 25 different major leaguers have passed through Oxford since then, all going to enjoy different levels of major league success, none having the opportunity to ply their trade in the city known as the gateway to the West. While Rebel fans hope it won't be another 42 years until their next trip, they're savoring every moment of this journey.